What it? <laughs> <laughs> What, is, what inspires you oh, um, to make a video, a, um, a, a, a documentary about what inspires us in music? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good question. Uh, the fans uh, inspires us. Sure. You know, we were in a situation where um, we were slowly be getting, um, we were we were slowly becoming disheartened with record companies we were getting disheartened with agents yeah. and it seemed that you know the whole of the business side of of the record industry and music industry just didn't seem to be working for us it seemed to be working against us you know and everything we wanted to do people there was always 20 reasons why we couldn't do it anything we wanted to say there's lots of reasons why we shouldn't be you know doing what we wanted to do so um you know, gradually, um, we, we found ourselves in a situation where we just wanted to be doing things ourselves. We, you know, we got frustrated going into meetings with record companies because we knew more than, you know, we were going into meetings having 20 years experience and there were kids sitting behind desks trying to make decisions and uh, it was all being led by accountants and we just decided that their maths uh, weren't going to add up for us anymore. You That's know. a big move to it. Because, yeah. well, yeah, but we were very lucky because, you know, as Mark kind of pointed out, that the internet, because at the time the internet, the internet was quite a, quite a small, it was quite a sort of fledgling thing and it was a bit, it was considered to be a bit nerdy and it was a bit of a kind of geeky thing from America. And, you know, people didn't really think it was, it was going to take off. But, um, but Mark... Uh, and a few other people who were kind of enlightened decided that, you know, it was going to be the way forward. We were one of the first uh, bands to have a website. And, yeah, um, yeah, I remember that. And, you know, we decided that that would be a good way for us to sort of be empowered and, um, you know, get have, have closer contact with our fans. And um, closer contact with uh, with our fans made that meant that, you know, it became more than just a band and its fans. It became a whole family. And, um, you know, we, we, um, I was a bit apprehensive at first. I was, I was kind of, well, what if they want more than we can give them? You know, because some people are very, you know, excitable about stuff and, and, and some people, um, you know, I was, I was wondering if, for example, when we did pre-orders and things, which, which came along slightly later, whether, you know, people would buy into something expecting a lot more than we could we were able to give you know so um but you know we we we, we gradually um found found a way to, to to make the music industry work for us as opposed for us work for the music industry it's, you know the, the public can you know i mean they're, they're lovely our fans we're very lucky but you know I've, I've i've worked in public sort of domain before and the public can be difficult to work with well we're, we're very lucky our fans are just fantastic you know we very what? rarely have trouble at gigs you know, we do we do conventions. We do the worldwide conventions. We've done a few shows over here in 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 the Olympia. Yeah. Uh, we do a lot of stuff in in Holland for our conventions, yeah. and we've never had any trouble. You know, you have five or six thousand people who are absolutely a diehard, dedicated fans, and you would expect some people to just get a little bit over the top, a little bit out of control. You know, because you've got people from all over the world as well, and you just can't expect all those people to get on. But you know what, they do. And you know, what they truly give us is freedom. And we're so lucky because it's very hard. It's very far, it's, it, you know, it's very hard to find a band that has true freedom, and, and we do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We have the freedom to spend Creating. time and to do whatever, you know, we don't feel like we have to create any particular type of music. I mean, Paul McCartney inspired me the most. He was the person who I really learned to play bass guitar from. And then when I'd learnt from Paul McCartney, then I used to listen to Yes, I used to listen to Genesis. Chris and Chris Squire and Mike Rutherford, yeah, and you used to pick up their yeah. bass lines and, you know. Uh, but one of the bands, it's over the years, one of the guys whose bass playing I've really used more than yeah. anybody else, really, I think, is probably a guy called Richard Sinclair. I think it was, no, it wasn't Richard Sinclair, I think it was his brother in Caravan. 
This is terrible. Yeah, okay. Because I can't remember which one it was. There was two bass players. There was One of them was the Sinclair Brothers on in the Land of Grey and Pink. And then there was another guy on For Girls Who Grow Plump in the Night. And his bass playing was great as well. And he was much more flowery, if you like, as a bass player. But the Sinclair brother, who's bass playing, I really, really, lo really love on like um, the second side two of, of uh, In the Land of Grand Pink was more jazzy. And I, brought, I was brought up on jazz because my, my, my dad was a huge big band fan. So Saturday yeah, mornings, yeah. he yeah. would just be blasting Duke Benny Ellington Goods. or Count Basie or Benny Goodman or, you know, someone like that. Or yeah, all of that kind of good stuff, yeah. And um, so, yeah. I'm, I'm, but, and these days I'm more a fan of music itself. I really like Biffy Clyro, their band from the UK. I really like um, I really like the Kooks as well. They're kind of like indie band, very good, very good players. Uh, they're, they're again they're UK. Um, I like Muse. Muse Muse had a couple of good albums. They're great live. They're very very good band live man. They are good live. Um, there's a guy, a young guy called Ed Sheeran, who whose posters I've noticed around the city. I saw him live in New York the other day. Now, my son has been raving about him for the last couple of years. And I kind of, I almost feel like I know him because I've been listening to his music for such a long time. Um, and I, I, he, I was really impressed with him. He's it's just him and acoustic guitar. And he really entertained the crowd for two hours. And yeah. I, was, I was expecting to really like the first hour and then start to think, yeah, okay, I've seen a guy with an acoustic guitar now, you know. But he was just, he was very, very good. Really, really entertaining.